Hey Air Signs, how are you guys today? This is your January 5th and 6th weekend reading. But what's going on with you? It's kind of bothering me. It just kind of needs to kind of lay there. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, how are you today? This is the beginning of the new year. This is, we are doing a live, um, Indy and I are going to do a live um, Twin Flame reading on the new moon, January 5th, so that's tomorrow. Uh, I think it's 4.30 Eastern, that's what I recall, so I hope that's right, but just watch this space, okay? Um, so we'll be doing that, Indy and I will be doing that, lots of cool things there. Um, I am doing this, the, I've already put out the, uh, or Colleen has put out the first round of readings, the first, you know, 20 or so, um, doing the next batch of the first group of readings, the recorded readings, the next 15 or 20 over the weekend here. So you'll see them. Thank you very much for your patience. I did want to take a little time off over the holidays and I managed to do that. So I appreciate very much your patience on this. We'll get that second batch out. It is the, you know, if you ordered in November, early December, that's what's happening right now. Okay. All right, guys, late November, Thanksgiving, after Thanksgiving. Okay. So let's see what's going on here for you guys. <sighs> Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right. What's going on here? Boop. Have you been feeling like this? Have you been feeling trapped by something? Are you under a heavy rock and don't know how to get out? <laughs> interesting, interesting, interesting. There's somebody watching you. It could be an Aries. Um, could be somebody who you think of as your husband or thought of. Could be your husband. Somebody just focused on their work, right? Um, I feel like you've walked away from this person. Three eights. I feel like you've walked away from this person and you're defending yourself. Uh, if you were stuck with this person, if you felt stuck with this person, um, that's interesting. Wow. 8, 9, 10. 8, 9, 10. 8, 9, 10. Sorry about that for the tintinitis among us. Um, let's see. Overarching energy of this reading. I feel like you've walked away and you're... It's like you're pissed. You're just like, uh, if they come back, hold on. Nine of Pentacles. Definitely eight, nine, ten. I call this out. If you took my tarot classes, we were talking about calling out a card. This is you being very, very confident, stable, secure, feeling good. This is past energy. This is something that no longer serves you. Okay. And literally you're walking away from that. If you felt trapped in this relationship or by this person who was very controlling, you're walking away from that. You might not get away scot clean for, you know, you might not get away free and clear. You might have to go through a conversation with them. Okay. So let me show you. So here's the other person, eight of pentacles, page of swords, watching you, uh, emperor, uh, very, uh, controlling, I don't want to, you know, look, could be an Aries. I don't want to, like, paint all the Aries in the world with the negative stereotype of an emperor. But there is something here to be considered, that this person is has a lot more to offer, and they've been very giving very, very little to you, okay? They've been focused on their work, focused on their pentacles, not really, uh, not really speaking or anything. So eight of swords, eight of pentacles. Then we have the eight of cups here for you. And you're like literally walking away from this eight of swords. Good for you. Okay. So the trappedness no longer exists. Okay. Um, this person could come back knight of swords and you are queen of pentacles. This person could come back like when you walk away or when you have walked away, they feel the energy shift. Okay. And so, <clears throat> um, this Knight of Swords, they could come swooping in. All right. That doesn't really feel like love to me. It feels like, how dare you walk away from me? And you, you might have mistaken that for love in the past. You might have mistaken their interest level or 
concern or something for love and that's not really what it was it was control okay it was control so just heads up on that one because now that you're nine of pentacles queen of pentacles love you love you so much um you are more grounded you're more <coughs> capable of handling this when this person shows up okay this is going to come in fast the communication is likely to be fast it's it's not going to be very delicate it's going to be designed to get you back here okay so whatever the whatever the lever they want to pull that's what they're gonna do so in your case your particular case is watching might be different than that person's case or that person's case but whatever the lever is this person knows you okay and knows this is that narcissistic stuff we're talking about somebody it, it doesn't mean they have to have NPD or anything like that it just means that they are all about what they want here okay this is what they want they want to so they're watching you and when I say watching you people have asked in the comments and thank you very much for commenting uh, all y'all um, I'm an honorary southerner after this week in Charlottesville Virginia don't you know that oh, bless your heart <laughs> oh I had such a good time there, most of the people there were from um, southeast US and uh, we just had a grand old time um, so the fact that you're this now there's something here about Pentacles too like if this because they are eight of Pentacles eight of Pentacles so they're like they have a job you might have your own business okay they have a job um, you know I mean they might be working on their own business a side hustle or something along those lines they feel like an emperor they're working for other people that's making them feel small you have moved up in your stature okay um, and that could be one of the reasons they come back to you because you have nine of Pentacles Queen of Pentacles in the bottom layer here ten of Pentacles okay you have achieved a level of success and now it's like oh you're very desirable or something along those lines so this ten of Pentacles nine of Wands nine of Cups this is something you might have wanted all right so we have eight of Pentacles nine of Pentacles ten of Pentacles we have eight of swords eight of cups so three eights there eight of cups nine of cups and nine of wands so this is like coming to the end of this cycle okay and there's going to be um, this person is being self-indulgent you might have wished for this uh, this is like you know being persistent one last try or something along those lines and being persistent wanting to have the seeing you now as this nine of Pentacles ten of Pentacles Queen of Pentacles they're like um maybe I shouldn't have been such a jerk maybe I should they're watching you so maybe I should is what they're saying maybe I should maybe I should reach out again um, the way that you last spoke with them was it a did you cut them off was there a fight was it just a drift away right the way you last ended is the way it's gonna come in so if you basically cut them off they're gonna come in like this knight of swords fast like trying to take you up fast right like how it, it, I used to I had a friend who used to say how you get into a relationship right how you ravel in is how you unravel at the end and so for example if you got into a relationship as a third party how you unravel will be a third party so um, this feels to me like you might have connected with this person on about work or money or stability okay because the Emperor is super stable all right and now you're matching them so you might have not been stable when you met this person financially you might not have been and so now you are and so now they're gonna come back in to try and scoop that up for themselves 
Um, yep. So be mindful of that, okay? This is about a trusting situation. I don't see love. Eight of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Emperor. I don't see love here. I see self-indulgence. I see, I see you walking away from this Eight of Swords, okay? Walking away from being trapped, walking toward a Two of Cups, wanting that in your life. I think this person knows that about you. They know that you want, you know, because Eight of Cups, you're the one with Eight of Cups. Um, they know you want love in your life, okay? And because they started with you or because the foundation of the relationship has something to do with money and stability, they're going to use that as a way to get in, okay? Um, there's a lot of baggage here that needs to be unraveled. Okay. All right, I'm going to use a separate deck here to do the, the extended. If you are so inclined, there is a link below. I invite y'all to come. <laughs> i got to watch Steel Magnolias again. That's a great movie. Okay, um, there's a link below if you like. Air signed January 5th and 6th. Okay, I'll see you on the other side.